Yay. Hello everyone, welcome to the official podcast. We've got so many topics, we're overflowing with topics. Charlie's come in hot and ready with a topic. Charlie, take it away. Well, where did we want to start? Did we want to start with Nutty Noodle Man? Your anal adventures. Yeah, oh, what, what's yeah, this about uh, hemorrhoids I hear? <laughs> Just took a, took a painful shit before the podcast, that's really about it. Mm. It's, so uh, how do you know when you got hemorrhoids? I just honestly, I, I just kind of assume every time I take a shit that hurts my ass that it's a hemorrhoid flare up. I guess you, I don't really you know, know you hemorrhoids in general. Well, because do you remember when you and you were visiting Kaya Jackson? You remember when you two visited? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That was like the first. I don't remember what that has to do with hemorrhoids. Well, that was when I first <laughs> like had it. That was like my the genesis of my hemorrhoids oh, when you guys came. I remember. Kaya I actually remembers. Had to yeah, I had to fucking touch the tube of your hemorrhoid cream. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. in the middle of the <laughs> living room. It was in the middle of the living room and your dog was chewing on it. And I was like, hey, dude, you sure you want your dog chewing on this? And I like carried it to towards Charlie like, dude, what is this? And he was like, oh, that's my hemorrhoid cream. And I remember dropping it and going, ew, and running yeah. to wash my hands. <laughs> well, it's not like he has sat of the hemorrhoid tube up his ass. Yeah, though. but I still had... Well, Doesn't it? To be fair, do you, you want to proper touch, coverage? Yeah, do you want to touch another man's asshole cream? Yeah. But it's and just then, cream, though. And it's, then I listened to Charlie asshole. get yelled at by his girlfriends because the cream is toxic to dogs or something, and how dare you... Well, I would think Well, so. did it cure her hemorrhoids? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, did it work? Yeah. I, the tube wasn't broken or anything. She chewed on like the bottom part of it, and it's also so wait, not do toxic you to dogs. Do you put the tube near your asshole? Like, is it kind of like a suppository? Like you no. stick it up your it's, asshole it's, to insert the cream? Jesus, Jackson, it's not like fucking caulking something. It's simple. Yeah, well, then cream. what the fuck's the issue with another man touching your tubes? It's a it's asshole cream. That means like when I'm putting the cream on it, that means I'm like near my asshole. My asshole's like exposed. Yeah. You just don't want so those let me, particles. So let me ask you yeah, a question the then, though. Let me ask you a question then. Do you uh, wash your hands after applying the cream? Jesus Christ, yeah. I, I do it after. <laughs> yeah. like, so it, so then the cream has nothing to do with your asshole. You grab it when your hands are clean. You then put no, it I in don't. your I, hands. I do it at, like, during a shit. Like after I finish shitting while oh, I'm still on the So, you're saying this so you don't even wipe your ass before you apply the cream? Oh, Jesus, the of fuck? course I do. I wipe my ass and then I put the cream on like a civilized man. I go in the proper preparation H instructed order of things. Andrew, was it internal? Do you have to insert a finger? Then yeah, no. you need to wipe it's down that tube, surface. young man. Yeah, you need to disinfect it, man. Look, it's like, would you touch yeah. another man's lube bottle? I wouldn't want to touch yeah, lube. That's a great example. Yeah. Depending on the man. Well, if I was desperate yeah, for well, lube. If I want... <laughs> well, Kyle wasn't, like, looking I for I ass don't cream. Think lube, I don't think lube is nearly that bad, though. Like, yeah, cum's like, not as bad as shit. I was a fucking I mean, desperate for anal hemorrhoid <laughs> cream. I just saw the dog <laughs> chewing on it, and I figured I should probably intervene so it doesn't die. <laughs> Kyle was army crawling on my floor looking for preparation H. <laughs> Charlie, I need it. Where's some <laughs> ass cream? I bite the other end, and then Tetra and I, we fight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Tug of war with my yeah, you're using your mouth against the dog for some reason <laughs> and then charlie walks in on us uh, well, it's not what it looks like <laughs> I, I just don't i don't see the issue with touching another man's lube or or is it's just uh, there's no issue it's just kind of yucky it's just one of those things where you're like well i should probably clean this off now what are you a child? But like you're just fucking what you correlating what you, two things. Are you? What do you mean? What are you a child? You're grabbing asshole cream. Like I've taken yeah. a shit. I've wiped it's my ass. It's not cream that's interacted with an asshole though. It's just manufactured tubes. It, that's it, it. depends on the Still. on the fucking sanitation department though. Like if you take a shit, wipe your ass, and then wash your hands, and then use the cream, there's nothing wrong with the cream as long as you're not touching the tube. That what, can't touch well, your what is wrong with you? Why yes. would I wipe my ass, wash my hands? Put cream on my ass and wash my hands again. So I, you I, don't get poopy hands all over the tube? Why do I care about poopy hands on the tube? I'm not, like, dealing it to friends or anything. Then you have to, because then you See? have to touch it again at a later date and you'll be touching a poopy-filled tube. See, See, when I touch it again, I will be taking a poopy-filled experience in my that, shitter. That's so why I, matter. No, that's why I, as a third party, have to wash my hands because it is a poopy-filled <laughs> exactly. tube. 
he touched that with his poopy hands. Exactly. I, I don't want to well, What, what on you can do hands. to avoid all this is once but, you're totally done, just disinfect or wipe down the tube just so the next time you touch yeah. it, it's like, gross, there's no Andrew, reason Andrew, to do that. If a stranger comes Hang on. over, they can touch yeah, your tube. so that way you Look. can share your hemorrhoid cream with everyone. <laughs> yeah, let, let you your dog think use it as a chew toy. <laughs> you're not being it. very considerate with your poopy cream, Charlie. Put some cat in the was a bit selfish. No, but no, you are... One of our patrons brought up another good uh, comparison. Would you touch another man's flashlight? No. That's different. You fuck That's a flashlight. That's totally light. different. No. Yeah, it's it's not. Totally different. Sticking dick. It. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie's not taking oh, a shit. If you wash it, though, it's fine, right? If, if, he, if he has washed it, you'd still touch it. No. I don't want to touch that. Oh, if he totally washed it and disinfected it, I'd touch it. Yeah. And you touched fuck? my flashlight a thousand times. But yeah, but I you don't fuck fucked your flashlights. Yeah. Well, as far as he knows. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully <laughs> i'm still playing that roulette game who knows mm. but yeah i have no problem with that as long as long as it's clean like who cares mm. doesn't matter mm. Mm. I, I can would you I, I probably wouldn't like drink out of it but I, oh, well, great, great. why would you drink out of any flesh <laughs> well we had, we had a thing we had a thing it, it didn't make it into the final cut this was way back when charlie was first doing funny videos with fleshlights we had like a skit where uh, he was eating spaghetti, and he was like, could you pass the salt? And I said, sure, and the, the salt shaker was in the fleshlight, and I started, like, shaking it on top of oh, the pasta. Oh, I remember we tried a lot of things. We tried yeah. to set up, a, like, a fleshlight straw from my faucet from the sink. Yeah. So yeah, that way, when you turned on the sink, the water would travel through the fleshlight, and I could drink it long distance. <laughs> but if he had fucked it, though, Andrew. Yeah, that'd be gross. Well, I don't think he'd want to eat out of it then either. Unless That's maybe he did. You don't know. He's a fucking, he's a lunatic maybe. You don't know if he cleaned it. If if I could properly be absolutely 100% sure that it was thoroughly cleaned after, I wouldn't care. You couldn't be absolutely sure of that though. Yeah. That's why I probably would care. Yeah. So would you would you ever buy a secondhand real doll? Oh god, no. No, no, no. no. That's, why? that's different. No. Why, why is that different? It'll if be it's broken in by cleaned? another man's... It'll yeah, be broken a, in by another man's penis. It'll well, it's another man's wife, too. Wait, so you want a virgin doll. <laughs> yeah, you want a virgin doll? What is that? I the, think everyone wants a virgin real doll. I don't think no, any man I, I like I like the dolls that are experienced, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the prostitute doll. She's been doll. taught things. <laughs> I like the 40-year-old only fan. Do you are uh, there doll. are there men out there where it's like they take cucking to the next level of loneliness where they want other men to fuck their fleshlights and real dolls for them? Ooh. There's, I highly doubt that. That's too deep. That's no. gonna be more about being attracted to the dudes then. There must be, and I bet they own Reddit or something. Everyone exists, yeah. dude. Whatever you can think of, it exists, and I bet they're on Reddit. That that takes the fun out of hypotheticals, though. When you just say it's it, everything exists. That's, yeah. Let's get, let's get That's in detail. Fair. Yeah. Which one totally of us wants fair. to watch the other one fuck a uh, sex doll? Any of us? No. No. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, oh, Andrew, <laughs> hang on. Not, not, not for like a sexual thing. <laughs> but just I think to see how funny. Charlie does it. I just want to see just, how he works. This is a joke. <laughs> yeah, just for a ha ha laugh. But, but no, I, I think it'd be funny if I was like browsing Pornhub or something, and all of a sudden it came up as like Jackson Clark fucks real doll, and it was just the real footage. One of those moments where you're like, oh, yeah. ah, ha ha, whoa, so hey funny. There. He he he! Look at his ball slapping. Oh, I wish they were slapping as my chin. Well, Haha. <laughs> give give me a little credit here. I think in this day and age, it'd be one of the few things that could actually shock me and throw me off guard. You That's know what true. I mean? I guess. My nutsack. Yeah, Jack, Jack finally getting the mysteries revealed of Jackson's nutsack shape and his thrusting power. Fucking a real doll. So what if, like in 2018 or whenever we met up and the girl that we met that Jackson said was his girlfriend, what if that was just a real doll that he was animating with like a puppeteering mm. stick? Weekend at Bernie's, yeah. That's even more impressive than just getting a girlfriend. Though. Yeah, I never noticed <laughs> yeah. that when she talked, her mouth didn't completely sync up to what she said. It was weird. Yeah, and Jackson's did. It kind of did sound like Jackson just making a high-pitched voice. Yeah. Do you remember when Jackson started drinking water and her voice came out all bubbly? It was weird. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, well. So, again, Fun trip. that's... Have we talked about this before? I, I still want to know, what do those men do with the real dolls once they're done? I guess once the real doll has to be decommissioned, do they just like 
Funeral pyre. Oh, they yeah. They send them out on a you, little canoe and you and can't just throw it away and light it on fire. <laughs> Can you throw, throw it away? The or do off? they like so if you if you live in like the suburbs and you have a giant trash can, you can probably just pop it in there <laughs> in a bag. Okay, but I mean as long as no one sees you do it, because that's just, really fucking just suspicious. popping out over the top. <laughs> okay, and scary. People are walking by the street. They see that that uh Sex doll expression. Sir, we saw you dumping a child's corpse in your garbage. Can you explain this? Right. So two things. Again, uh, one is optics. You don't want, you know, right in front of your own house is a trash can full of, you know, some human being's legs hanging out of it. Or two. Speak for yourself. Then everyone knows you're sexually active. (laughs) Yeah, they're getting laid. (laughs) <laughs> just a fucking burnt corpse. <laughs> and two, so if you're the kind of person who's willing to get a real doll and fuck it and pretend that it's a real human, wouldn't you also be the kind of person who wants to give it a real funeral and like pretend that they do just That's what buried an actual human? Yeah, right. You would put it in a canoe, set it on fire like like a Viking, or maybe hack it up into pieces and bury her in the, in your backyard like you're a murderer. <laughs> I think my sex doll would just like to be cremated. Put the urn on the the mantle. That's such a fucking psychology question. It's like, I I know of the group of people, they had like TV specials and interviews where it's like, this is my wife, she's real, her name is Yvette, and I love her, you know, where they get together and have those like real doll wife meetings. But real doll doesn't just sell to those people. People they sell probably like thousands and thousands and thousands. I don't of think units. they do, no. man. I think it's mm. just so expensive really? that they can really like survive off a of very small. Market. How expensive are sex dolls? Oh, like ten grand, like a, like a good Jeez, size. I'm about like to, grand. Yeah, I'm on. Just mm-hmm. buy a prostitute. I'm about, yeah, for about ten grand one, you could. You know, my buddies and my uh, we've been watching uh, Ninety Day Fiance for ten grand. You can get any Yugoslavian whore to just you know fuck you for a green card why would you ever buy a sex doll let's see though i'm on myrealdolls.com shop your shopping cart is empty i know newest sex dolls let's see oh actually never mind i'm gonna click best at deals <laughs> secondhand sex dolls hey i really want to know if that is a thing but ashley sexy skin sure oh charlie they're just a grant one thousand dollars Oh, that's not much. Wait, yeah, which, she looks, are these like entry level waifu or uh, not waifu? Uh, entry level real dolls, dude. I just clicked on best oh, deals. Man. These look like underage Japanese children, basically. Dude, I'm getting bombarded by shit on the real doll website. Like, there's a spin the wheel to win thing where I can win a five percent <laughs> discount. Try my luck. I have I have abyss creations in the live chat saying hi. Have a look around. Let us know if you have any questions. Like. Man, they really want me to leave here with a sex doll. Wow, it yeah. really seems like they so, brought down their prices. Like I'm, I went to uh, premiumdolls.com. Oh. They have a ton of sex dolls for under a grand. You can yeah. customize your sex doll. Yeah, I, I so oh, I, have a I found the cheapest one called Dolly Busty Midget, and it's only seven hundred dollars. You guys. So I figure that if you customize these, that's when it gets expensive because I'm looking at some of these customizations here and then it's it adds dollars. Like if you want her to be black, you have to add forty five dollars. If you want her want her to that's have kind of fucked up. If you, yeah, that is kind of fucked up. <laughs> if you wanted to have green eyes, that's plus twenty five dollars. Red nails, twenty five dollars. Breast type, what? My big honking milkers. Stuff so like let me that. let me no. also point out something interesting here that I'm noticing on Real Doll's website. They have a dildo that's like like supposed to be modeled after a real penis and be super realistic called the real dick, and it's just a dildo. But for the entire rest of the website, you have to buy like a full doll if you want a sex toy. So why are women given the option of just buying disembodied dicks? But men don't get to buy. Because that's all they see us as. We're just dicks to them. <laughs> but you think it'd be the opposite, right? Because typically in relationships, women go for companionship, and you know, a man. Yeah. Well, whereas, how are you going to put that in a doll? Whereas men just want <laughs> pussy. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You can't put fucking friendship in a doll form. Well, you well, can, you can do like a 20 <laughs> pounds of pussy and ass scenario where it's like you just have a disembodied ass. Uh, yeah, there's well, a lot. These guys can't for cool like brand. a grand and a half. They can put anything in plastic form, buddy. <laughs> if you got the money, that's that. That's the sad thing, though, Andrew, is that uh, the guys see these dolls at a, as a form of real relationships, whereas girls see them as just 
you know, sexual satisfaction. It's kind of funny how role reversal it is. Yeah, I man, actually really yeah. regret not buying that 20 pounds of pussy and ass when we went to the Todd, Andrew. Yeah, man, that, I freaked out. That's like a legend. That's a ton of pussy and ass. It's could you handle that much pussy and ass? <laughs> I have no. It was like 200 bucks. It's I, worth it. I, I Googled it. It's That's called ten dollars a pound, Charlie. That's nothing. <laughs> Is that like a butcher? <laughs> It's called the Fuck Me Silly Mega Masturbator Over 20 Pounds of Pussy and Ass Pipe yeah. Dream Extreme. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's so my real doll. Has. I have a question. Andrew, you might be able to answer this. Sure. Does it does fucking a sex doll actually feel like fucking like a human <laughs> pussy? Okay, so like, well, Jackson, I can't answer that question, <laughs> believe it or not. You're among friends. You can, you can be honest. <laughs> I, shot, I shot the worst toy. God damn it. Uh, this is so. There is a toy. Let me describe this for. I put it this in the chat, but it's only four hundred dollars. It's a male sex toy. But oh, there we go. It's only yeah. a torso, and but it has a gigantic cock and balls, and it looks goofy. It looks terrible. It looks like a candle, actually. <laughs> but you can buy it if you have four hundred bucks. The fuck's up with that cock? <laughs> it's big. <laughs> this is pretty surprising, though. It seems wow. like there's a ton of sex doll websites. I, like, a ton of these. I had no idea. I thought it was only, like, a couple manufacturers for a small community, but it's got to be kind of big if there's this many. Yeah. So it's got to be popular, in turn. People are actually yeah. buying these frequently. I'm gonna I look mean, up it looks like it. Uh, so first of all, Kaya, I think you may have made a, a small mistake here. First of all, the functions misspelled horribly. It has dildo and anal. So oh. I think this is for men to have sex with. Hmm. Maybe. Because why else, so you why else would you? On the other. Yeah. What, well, no. You either the, ride the dick um, or you put your dick in it. Hmm. It's like why would it have anal functions for women? What are they going to do with that? Put, put like their pencils in it for later to use. I don't know. No, put a finger <laughs> in while they blow yeah. it. Pretend that he's into it. I don't know. I want so. Eh, it's not hmm. a bad idea. Well, do you guys think that there's shit up and <laughs> watch it shit? So, <laughs> <laughs> put a Snickers bar in there and push it out on its stomach. <laughs> Just in case you're curious. <laughs> she shaves it. Oh, I even so that's that how sense. men poop. Got it. Wow. So do you guys think that there's even a single woman who's ever bought a real doll? Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I don't think so. Not not a single Jackson, one. Jackson, earlier in the episode, know. you specifically said that everyone exists. No, that was Kaya. Yeah, I that was me, but I'm still, not, I'm still incredulous. I still not think that way. <laughs> hmm. I, I definitely think there's female re real doll owners. Like, I don't know if they bought the women, because there are men real dolls, male real dolls. But yeah, they're definitely out there. Do you yeah. guys agree with this statement? It is far easier for a woman to find a guy than it is for a guy to find a woman. Yeah, of course. It depends on the woman. Yeah, no. it's a buyer's market. Yeah, which is not that big of a deal. It doesn't really, you know. It's. I don't think that women it's almost are like it's easier. Go yeah. Ahead. No, you go ahead. It's over. almost like it's easier if you're attractive, regardless of your sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's almost as if women are pickier hmm it's like maybe that's why i'm so suspicious that there would be any women who own real dolls it's almost as if if you were on a quality vpn you could watch netflix shows from around the world mm -hmm. you could man you know or buy real dolls without your ispn no <laughs> <laughs> You could buy real that's dolls. That's also true. You could go on the Silk Road. Or, or Maybe that's not so legal to say, but... Look, if you don't want your ISP to know what you're up to, or the government, or really anyone else, you should get a VPN. And our sponsor, expressvpn.com slash official, has been out helping us out for a long while now to make that a reality. I don't want to call, you know, cast stones and call people names and use, you know, slurs like, I don't know, pirate... But if you are one, I'm just saying that you should use a VPN because otherwise you're going to get fines and tell. Let me tell you, my nephew, he's been pirating a whole lot of, uh, you know, John Wick. He really loves John Wick. So I've seen firsthand the effects of having to pay fines for things that you yourself didn't even download or watch or do or anything. And I'm innocent. 
so let's say <laughs> also it helps your depression by the way because let's say you're bummed out and you're just really tired because of all the lockdowns and the and all the shit that goes on in the world and all you want to do right now is just maybe watch some netflix with your online friends guess what thanks to expressvpn you can watch netflix on you know if you do you have a friend in canada you can watch Canadian Netflix. Do you have a friend in America? You can watch American Hulu. Do you have a friend in Germany? You can watch German Amazon Prime. It doesn't matter. Just get your VPN, set it up, which is easy, by the way. Download, log in, click the big, big button that says connect, and that's it. You can even set it up to automatically connect to you every time you uh, launch your computer. Done. You don't have to worry about anything else. It works on your consoles, it works on your phone, it works on any device you might have, because you can even put it on your router. So go to expressvpn.com slash official, and you will get three months for free on the yearly plan, which is good, because it's cheap to begin with, and you can just buy the yearly plan and forget about it. Set up a one-time payment, three months of that are on us, the official podcast team, expressvpn.com slash official. If you want to let them know that we're helping. Okay. Thanks, ExpressVPN. Thank That's a you. big sell. Mm -hmm. Cures depression. Mm -hmm. I like <laughs> it. It helps mine. <laughs> All right. Where were we at? Real dolls. Yeah, the women use them. I don't think so. I really? also don't think so. Really? Well, Come yeah, on. I really don't think so. I, I think Come they on. just buy a dildo. Or, it, don't most girls not use dildos anyway? It's like vibrators are far more, um, or, I don't know, used. Yeah, or Jackson, hang on. I want to. I got to interrupt. Hang on, Jackson. What is that like rattling in your background? Yeah, there's you guys hear that? that? Might be my yeah, it might be my coil wine from my computer. I'm yeah, it sure. sounds coil like it. What's a coil yeah, wine? What does that mean? GPU. Is graphic? Uh, he, he lost the graphics card lottery. It's <laughs> it's his real doll. <laughs> she wants attention. <laughs> she's <laughs> power. <laughs> she's charging. Oh shit! Okay, I found finally. I found an article after browsing like to the seventh page of Google. Uh, Woman reveals what it's like to make love to her lifelike robot male sex doll. Single gal Carl Carly. Skirtino said, with a doll you can learn how to make sex work for you, trying out speeds and angles. Alright. Oh, okay, this doesn't count. She's a sex columnist. So she's yeah, not really... Yeah, that, that's definitely different. Yeah, she's a reviewer, not an actual customer. I bet there's women out there, though. They may not be public, but there's definitely women who, like, are in a relationship with a real doll. Or something similar, maybe not yeah. like a real doll, yeah. but something. Yeah, something. <laughs> the well, I know, I know there's ob object. Uh, I know there's object. What is it? Objectophiles, where they're yeah. sexually attracted and intimate with objects. And I know um, there's that one that went viral of the guy fucking his car. I think Charlie. I think you did something. I know I did something on it. I think you did too. I watched it. I don't think I did anything with it. I know what okay. you're talking about. There's also yeah. that like serial car groper who was in love with cars yeah. and he'd ejaculate <laughs> on other people's cars. Yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah. the one I wanted to bring up as an example is there's a woman who's sexually attracted to a roller coaster. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she's super in love with it and this and that. So if there's people out there like that, there's got to be women who find a human analog and like feel emotions for it or attachment to it. I guess. I finally found a forum. It's called OurDollCommunity.com And I'm not trying Aww. to see if there's any women here. <laughs> it's like I'm looking for someone to date or some shit. She's gotta be into other men that aren't oh, real. Oh shit! Fine, okay, thank you. The third thread here is called, Hello, any other females here? I mean females that breathe, winky face. I'm new here. I've posted a little, but haven't said hello yet. I'm female. I was born with some extra parts that I don't mind using at all. When you're giving lemons, you make lemonade. In parentheses, I'm trans. God damn it. Okay, so no. That was a fucking red herring. Sucking or kissing on TPE doll, any experience, good or bad? Okay, I'm putting my money in this. Five bucks says there's no women using real dolls, guys. Well, I, I think that five bucks is going to float in stasis because this is something we may never prove. 
if our fans can dig it up, I'll pay PayPal you, PayPal you five bucks. Okay. <laughs> if they can just find proof that a woman's using a real doll as like a relationship. Yeah. That's very bold. Does it have to specifically be a real doll or can it be any like human analog? Any doll mannequin. Because like some of the I guess some of the guys from that like big meeting that they had had like not real dolls but like you know shit they made themselves. You no, it, I think it should be a doll that you have to pay lots of money for that is explicitly <clears throat> manufactured for you to have sex with. Okay. Yeah. I'd, I'd bet there's at least a handful. Okay. But I don't know. Charlie, why don't you read some Noodle Man? I'm fine with that. Is Jackson still alive or did that coil wire kill him? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't know if it sounds it's... like you're sending uh, uh, telegrams in the background. <laughs> really fast. A lot ones. of people you're in the trying to, You're trying to win the war for Australia here. Can you still hear it? Yeah. Little, yeah. It's not a big deal. It's just I noticed it whenever you talked. No, it has been an issue over the last few weeks, so I do need to fix it. It's just one of the fans on top of the case. I guess I could just unplug well, it, I was but then I have to get to the computer. Anyway, Nutty Noodle Man. Yeah. I was gonna, yeah, I was just about to say in the Discord, they immediately disproved you. Yeah, I owe whoever, you know, posted the first link there f five bucks now. <laughs> I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> it says mirror. This is from the mirror. Oh, yeah. Yeah? No, I was just gonna say, we didn't consider older women. Yeah, it's a, so this is from the mirror. Um, it says, women in their 50s desperate for $15,000... So fifteen thousand doll at uh, fifteen thousand pound female sex dolls to be their dream person. So it's even more than dollars, actually. Phil Bass a little bit now. Yeah, you know, Phil Bass runs the Dollhouse in Orpington, Southeast London, which specializes in sex dolls. Says he is seeing more and more women buying the expensive robots. Wow. Randy, there you go. Middle-aged women desperate to find oh, their good. dream person are work. <laughs> Forking out up to fifty thousand. Glad pounds. they specified that. I wasn't sure. Are forking out up to fifteen thousand <laughs> pounds for their own customized sex dolls. Dolls. Someone in chat posted a picture of a of a male sex doll getting deep throated, <laughs> and, and the woman is spreading his anus directly into the camera. So I guess that's what the anus is for. <laughs> and we cannot put that on screen so you, you're going to just have to use your imagination no you can go to patreon.com slash the official podcast mm -hmm. and then go into our uh, discord and look up this photo if you really care but yeah I guess that it's is what photo. it's for it is a good photo but I like how they got the pattern of the asshole wrinkles I always find that impressive. Yeah, they're able to really get like the actual divots and everything in it. Do people still bleach their assholes? Do you guys know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's never going oh, out of fashion. Porn yeah. stars for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no porn stars, but like regular Why people, do they? No. Probably not. Do you not? What if your hemorrhoid cream has like a <laughs> bleaching effect? <laughs> That'd be a nice benefit, but I yeah. don't think it does. Charlie hasn't seen it, but his asshole is pearly white now. <laughs> yeah, my ass just looks really cool. Like, my asshole is just like this incredible shade of, like, shine. <laughs> when was the last time you looked at your own asshole? Charlie? Not long ago, like, maybe three months ago. Remember I talked about where I, like, shaved it over my phone? <laughs> oh, oh, that yeah, was only yeah. three months ago? Yeah, I thought you... that was when you were, like, I don't know, fucking 14 or something, and just, you know, trying to figure oh, shit no, out. That was, that was like... No, it was like eight months ago, maybe. <laughs> okay. You haven't looked at it so since then? No. Why? Do you check up on your asshole? I mean, sometimes. How? Like, if I if I have a, a really uncomfortable poop, just to make sure nothing <laughs> bad happened, what I don't you, know. It's a weird time to look at it. <laughs> wait, wait. You've never, you've you never taken it. a really, really you big watch shit? You watch as the shit comes out? Well, how, do you, how do you look at it? What's your technique? You just spread it in the mirror. It's not that hard. Well... This guy sucks his own cock and you're trying to picture out <laughs> how he looks at his own anus. Dude's flexible. He's just fucking reaches in between his legs. I don't understand, yeah, though. Like, you don't I get on the bed and I spin around 90 degrees and I just, like, comb it. Like, if I you walk down the wall. I, well, I don't, underst I don't understand how you get, like... <laughs> yeah. 
You don't While have a full body mirror though. You only have like your bathroom mirror, right? Or do you Charlie, use Charlie? You gotta Giuliana's? remember, I'm a tall guy. I can, I can see. Yeah, but when you bend over, like if you no, bend don't, over, you don't like bend over that much. You just turn around, you lean forward a little bit, and you look uh, over your shoulder. So you don't That's even get like it. a full view of it. Yeah. No, just enough to take a peek at it and make sure everything's okay. I'm not. I'm not like <laughs> staring at my asshole. Like, ooh, what's going on there? Look at the detail. I'm just <laughs> looking no, to make sure not. that everything's come. Is everything's okay? So you don't. Plus, if you wanted that much detail, you have a phone or something. Or exactly. You can, yeah, you can use the uh, the forward facing camera on your phone. Take a photo or video. Do that. I don't understand why people think it's so difficult to look at your own anus. It's not. Well, it, Science has made it the easiest it's ever been. It's kind of, well, it is kind of difficult. It's like licking your own elbow. You know, you have to just use your phone. To lick your elbow? You, yeah, well, you can't. That's I'm saying that naturally you can't impossible. do it without the assistance no, it's not. of technology. Can people can lick their own elbow. That's it's actually flexible a myth. people. A lot of uh, there's plenty yeah, of people who of, can no, lick their of, own assholes too. Doesn't mean I no, can. No, a lot of children can do it because they're <laughs> smaller and flexible. It's true. They had a they had a fucking show, Brainiac. Do you guys remember that show? It was pretty no. big everywhere. It starred the guy from Top Gear, and it was like a like a did you know science kind of show before YouTube was really big. And at one point they uh, had a segment called, called things you can't do. And they were like, Oh, try to lick your elbow. You fucking <laughs> sure. <won't>. hate us. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they had a the segment, uh, Gear, they had a to segment where they were like, uh, where they were like, try to lick your own elbow. You fucking can't you idiot. And then the next episode they were like, Oh, it turns out like hundreds of people sent us photos of them doing it. It turns out it's not that hard. Photoshopped. Well, okay. <laughs> like children, it, I guess it's not hard, but. For an adult, exactly. you can yeah. do it right now. If you're an adult, it's probably very, very hard, yeah. Yeah, same with looking at your asshole. So you'll have to just take a, you know, 20 megapixel photo of your asshole and then examine it. So, wait. Charlie, did you rewatch? like, did you sit down after you were done shaving and watch your own videos of your own asshole? I didn't take videos. Why would I take videos? I'm not like selling OnlyFans asshole content. For the no, archive. It was just, no, it was mm. just uh, pictures. Charlie, do you think if you started an OnlyFans, but every single photo was just a close up of your anus, people would sign up for it? But like, it's so not close like it. up that people can't even tell if it's yours. Of course. Well, how would they even be able to tell that it's my anus in the first place? Anus is a like. Well, trees. if you if you're showing your if them. you're showing your anus and like the rest of your body's in the frame or something, they'd oh, be able to I tell. See. But I'm saying, like, every photo is just, like, such a hyper close-up of your anus, it could be anybody's. But you say it's yours. Well, like, internal shots? So you can't even tell it's an anus? Just full screen of anus. Like, yeah. look at your monitor right now and imagine you just see nothing but anus. Like a colonoscopy camera? No, no, the, just the anus, not the, not the intestine. Okay. Mm, yeah. You're losing me, What Andrew. was the question again? Now we're just talking about big assholes. What was, the, what was like, the initial inquiry? <laughs> the question is, why, your why like? haven't you started Noodle Man yet? Oh, I mean, I can read Noodle Man if you want. Okay. Does he have a clean asshole? I'd... I, I guess we're about <laughs> yeah, to find out. Yeah, this is going to be a big tonal shift. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wrote this one like a week ago. So this is a... I'm mixing it up. This isn't Noodle Man. This is Moon Ninja. This is another mm. series I worked on. I made two of these. These are actually kind of long, so... This is Moon Ninja by Charlie White. I submitted it for a grade and the teacher said, wow, this is a great report. I see that you like action stories. I'll show the camera. There's a picture of a ninja that I drew. The second page <laughs> is another picture of a ninja I drew with a couple of floating sharks around him. And then I think the story starts, yeah. Naturally. <clears throat> Long ago, people in Japan said that a ninja lived on the moon. The astronauts went to space. Only one astronaut returned to tell what happened. The people in Japan have been frightened since that day. Only the most brave astronauts went to space to destroy the moon ninja. All that went to space have failed. But this was a very special group of astronauts. They knew all <laughs> access codes and had very good reflexes. On <laughs> Access on, codes to what? <laughs> I guess the moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They knew the cheat space. codes for the moon. They disabled gravity or re-enabled gravity. On their way there, they had to go through an asteroid shower. It was very difficult to get through. They were so close to getting hit by a meteor. It was 17.5 meters wide. They made it through the meteor field. <laughs> what? And Seven headed to the wait, moon. 17 meters? Yeah, 17.5 meters wide. 
That's not very wide. It's not, you pulled that yeah, out of your that's, not that, yeah. Yeah, that's not that big. <laughs> well, how many asteroid showers have you guys gone through? Maybe it's terrifying out there. They made it through the meteor field and headed to the moon. They noticed the ship up ahead. It appeared to be Moon Ninja's ship. They saw a meteor coming straight for them and ran. The Moon Ninja's ship hit the huge... <laughs> they <me> ran in space? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <laughs> they just ran in circles in the spaceship. <laughs> the Moon Ninja's ship hit the huge meteor. It exploded. There were Moon Ninja robot parts flying everywhere. They finally made it to the moon and saw robots shooting at them. They threw every attack right back at them. The robots were destroyed except for one. He was the king of all robots. The most powerful robot they, they ever <laughs> faced. <laughs> As if, like, this fucking group of astronauts is facing robots on the regular. This is beautiful. I forgot how great this story was. Wait, so is Moon Ninja dead? I don't know. Probably not. There's a sequel, so he's probably alive. Yeah, you probably don't kill the main character off in the first, well, like, two why minutes. Why does yeah. surviving a meteor shower make him powerful? That just means he's lucky. Uh, I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. They had access codes or something, so he was just inherently strong. Oh. And great reflexes. Maybe it's yeah. like that girl found a in Deadpool where she, her superpower is being lucky. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Domino. Yeah. They found a weapon and tried to destroy him. They saw a castle and decided to go inside. <laughs> I guess I abandoned that plot line pretty quickly. <laughs> okay. Inside was an army of robots, ninjas, samurais, and warriors. They, atta they attacked with everything they had from every angle, but every attack was blocked. They fought back until they were all destroyed. They checked every room in the castle but could not find Moon Ninja. They left the castle. When they left the castle, they noticed the castle began to float off the ground. It was the Moon Ninja's awesome power. The astronauts <laughs> ran back to their ship and followed the castle to Jupiter. The castle landed and so did they. They left the ship and ran into the castle. The astronauts saw the Moon Ninja. They tried to attack, but he was too powerful. The skills were unmatched. A smoke bomb exploded and he was gone. I think this this is, do you page. think the teacher who complimented this book was actually serious and was completely <laughs> absorbed when she was reading it? She's been <laughs> waiting like desperately fire, all these years. Fireplace. All these years for the next page chapter. Turner. Yeah, she's, she wants to know what happened to me. She read this and glued she, to it with a glass of wine. She quit her job and immediately joined Studio Ghibli and then they made Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> inspired by Charlie. <laughs> they searched every room and found him at the top of the castle. It was too late for him to escape. The astronauts had him. He pretends to surrender and he jumps off the castle. He runs, never to be seen again. The moon ninja. Wait, when did this become present time? Why did you switch <laughs> from? Well, yeah, like what you, you switch, you switch time tenses there. It used time to be works differently on the moon. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah you fucking five year old. You were all like, they <laughs> get your grammar they, right. They found a castle. They found a castle and they walked in, but then it became he surrenders and runs, and this is what's happening. Like. No, what happened? Well, it's a, Moon Ninja's always been a tricky foe. He never really <laughs> plays fair. He runs, never to be seen again. The Moon Ninja disappeared into space. The astronauts never gave up searching. They found him on the moon, <laughs> trying to <laughs> <laughs> trying to summon his castle, but it didn't work. They summon like him. it's a horse. I wonder where I wonder where Moon Ninja is. Where could he possibly go? To be fair, he did flee to Jupiter at some point. Yeah, but like, <laughs> so how do you summon a castle? Is it like the horses in Breath of the uh, Wild? <laughs> Does he just whistle? Just, yeah, whistles. you whistle and it pops out of the ground. <laughs> I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you. This Moon Ninja guy, he's got all kinds of tricks Plus, up his sleeves. Plus, to be fair, it doesn't say Earth Moon Ninja. It could be, like, Jupiter's moon. That Andrew. is true. That's yeah. very yeah. true. I, I, I feel ashamed. You're very correct. We're physics That's kind of what different. I was thinking when I was a child, too. Uh, they captured him only to find out he was a decoy. The astronauts <laughs> got back into their spaceship and returned to Jupiter, where they found Moon Ninja about to fall into the big red spot. He falls. <laughs> But he uses his <laughs> magical powers to pull himself up. Finally, the Moon Ninja is captured, running to the castle. The astronauts bring him to their ship. On the trip back to Earth, a meteor hit the ship. It did a lot of damage as it shook the whole ship. The Moon Ninja tried to escape but was caught. They returned to Earth, and Moon Ninja was sent to jail. <laughs> just jail <laughs> not moon jail <laughs> not a very exciting jail just county jail 
<laughs> yeah, just, just yeah. on a misdemeanor. He just got char charged with like fucking third degree murder. <laughs> <laughs> the, the moon ninja will the moon the moon ninja will never attack again did i say never author charles white written 11 29 02 did i say never did i say never are you doubting yourself at the end there that's no, hinting at that a sequel his idea of a cliff yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's like little charlie's oh, idea that's... of when movies do the the end question mark that's so cute <laughs> yeah. I actually, uh, the sequel is called Moon Ninja Returns, obviously, and this no. one, not to give anything away, but New York, He's on parole. Yeah, New York Times says, these are great reports. I'm glad you enjoyed reading the books and took the extra time to challenge yourself by writing a report. What that means, I don't know, because these aren't based on a book. So I'm guessing he just didn't read my report or my Moon Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. No, he just no. genuinely didn't give a shit. No, he, just, he absolutely just didn't even look at it. 100%. <laughs> oh, that's sad. You should call him up and ask. I want you to open it and it's just full of swear words. <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blood stains on my, uh, my Moon Ninja sequel. Kill yourself, kid. Oh, this fuck. is garbage. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, the first Moon Ninja. That's what I brought for show oh, and tell. I, I might like Moon Ninja more than Noodle Man. Well, yeah, Moon Ninja's does like, definitely like Moon Ninja more. Yeah, Moon Ninja's got a lot of plot development and, and characters as well, like the astronauts. Well, yeah. The no, that's what I was going to say. My main issue with Moon Ninja was you didn't really give the, the main protagonist much character yeah. or, or, you know, backstory or anything. It just felt like tertiary figures compared to yeah moon like man. why is he on the moon, moon? how did he become a ninja yeah. what is, well, why, what what's is the he backstory doing? here is he it like it? an Inuyasha so what, what was thing? he, he doing demon? why why did they even have to like capture him what was he doing it sounds like he, like he was just <laughs> hanging out on Jupiter yeah well, Jesus it's like no one <laughs> were, were none of you paying attention to the lore that I built up over the course of two sentences it was said that long ago in Japan that there was a ninja that lived on the moon which scared them so they said Why did that in Japan or on the moon? For, yeah, which first yeah, and first of all, you said that there was a ninja who lived on the moon, but they found him on Jupiter, which is very, no, very no, far they did. away from the Andrew, moon. Why do the Japanese know him? And they why did are not they find scared? him on Jupiter? And why is being <laughs> scared is grounds for arrest? <laughs> <laughs> Moon Ninja was taking too many upskirt pics on the metro. <laughs> he was not found on Jupiter, by the way. I'd like to set the record straight. They attacked him in an asteroid field. When oh, they, right. And then he landed back on the moon after losing his robots. Then he fled to Jupiter. Why was he in uh, an asteroid field? I don't think there's any between here and the moon. <laughs> well, there was at that time. <laughs> So when you say moon ninja, you mean more like space ninja. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's more space than that necessarily restricted to just the moon. He seems to freely go between planets instantly, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I forgot how good that story was. Yeah, That's a real narrative yeah, powerhouse. Yeah, I like that. You would that. think that if they would found there was a ninja on the moon, their first action would be to not give a shit. Well, my first thought would well, be like, let's figure out how we got here and why. Yeah, I, instead no, of let's go arrest that'd, that'd his be, ass and that'd send be a pretty big deal. My first step would <laughs> we be... We have to go all the... <laughs> sorry, my first step would be, we sent four astronauts into space and only one came back. Why? <laughs> to investigate <laughs> that we, mystery. Let's deconstruct ninja their plan here. Them. So they discover there's a ninja on the moon and that scares them. Okay, I guess that's reasonable. <laughs> they send a team of astronauts all yeah, the way to the reasonable. moon to arrest him, to bring him back to Earth, to throw him in county jail. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know what jail they threw him in. It could have been a supermax. All right, supermax uh, yeah, security well, prison. Instead of just, I don't know, moon leaving, boy has got him out of why it. Why not just leave him on the moon? He's clearly not going to do anything. It doesn't get, a, a, does it get an appeal. What, what is the process here? Is it going to get the electric chair? What, what's going to happen? Also, if he's a ninja, if he's a ninja who could survive on the moon, what makes them think throwing him in jail is going to do anything? <laughs> well, you have, to, you have to find out in the sequel where I address all of these questions and more. Oh, you're going to fill out all the plot holes? 
Why, yeah, why is it gonna I'm be? Sure, it's like I'm sure I found a he way. joins a prison gang. <laughs> fucking that ninja is gonna be in county jail, like fucking Michael Schofield in Prison Break, and he's gonna have a tattoo of the of Earth. <laughs> Just break out. Oh, man. Menace the honest, galaxy I wanna again. Read, I want to read Moon Ninja now. I'm, I'm, do, you, do you guys mind? I mean, we're already we're already. Yeah, please Moon read Ninja. episode two. I'm I'm okay. enthralled. I want to see the conclusion. Yeah, yeah, this is Moon Ninja Returns by Charlie White. This is Act Two. Of Wait, so Charlie, epic. do you remember what you wrote here? Or I do remember. Is this I, just as much. I didn't remember shit about Moon Ninja One, but I do remember in Moon Ninja Two, I drew inspiration from a Power Rangers episode where they fought a shadow monster. I know that. Mm. So, so before you unique. before you start, just to give give us an idea, how many Moon Ninjas are there total? There's only two completed Ooh, Moon Ninja works. Fuck. Yeah. I thought there'd okay. be like a whole epic so saga is, we could stretch out over the podcast okay so this, this is, is the it. conclusion yeah. yeah yeah this is the finale you've all out there been waiting with bated breath for the conclusion about this? of moon ninja and you're about to get it if any of our mm. listeners said wait how old were you when you wrote this charlie six seven 2002 so i would have been six or uh, jesus eight okay well so if any of our listeners have eight. like eight year old sons or nephews or something and you want to give them a pen and paper and have them write the sequel to moon ninja feel free and send <laughs> us the story oh that's that's, <laughs> that's super that's adorable cute. yeah that's kind that is kind of adorable and probably child yeah. labor but you know well yeah. all right and then i sell their work as well <laughs> <own. laughs> like yeah. and we and we'll sell it and become filthy rich <laughs> all right let's hear it bro. all right they, <clears throat> it begins. Mm -hmm. Moon Ninja returns one year later. The guard checked <laughs> the Moon Ninja's cell. He did not see the Moon Ninja. <laughs> so he opened his cell and the Moon Ninja knocked the guard out. The Moon Ninja escaped from jail. He disguised himself as person until one day the astronauts saw the Moon Ninja disguised as person. They saw something moving <laughs> on the building. Wh they which wondered, person? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Wait, a human? Is, is <laughs> Moon Ninja not a human? Or a humanoid? He's a... <laughs> no, is it, there's no telling what Moon he, Ninja is. Did he put like a big rubber person mask over his ninja mask? Because he's uh, just always a ninja no matter it, what. I'm just it, imagining it, like RuneScape default character. Oh, I was imagining <laughs> him like the cockroach in Men in Black where he always has to pull back the oh, human yeah. skin. Maybe that's what I was going for because this was like right around the time that came out and I loved that movie. Maybe that's what <laughs> I was thinking. <clears throat> mm. They saw something moving on the building. They wondered what it was, so one of them decided to kick the wall. The moon ninja <laughs> flew right out of the wall. The person disappeared. The moon what? <laughs> Are you not following, Andrew? They saw something on the building, so naturally he fucking kicked it and it happened to be moon ninja. You're not using descriptive-like terms. You're just de <laughs> defining everyone as person. No, Charlie's a master confusing. storyteller. I'm just not using context clues. No, yeah, I th to, to be fair, there there is way more narrative cohesion than I thought it was going to be. You actually tied it into the first book. No, but still, <laughs> this is... I referenced Jail. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> moon Ninja started to fight the astronauts. Only one attack got through and the Moon Ninja disappeared. They never found him until one day they saw... <laughs> Where? So, so they never found him until one day they found him. Well, you don't know that. I wasn't. I wasn't done with the sentence. They may never find him. That's such a grisly way to go. That poor person. Yeah, they lost him. Until one day they saw another weird person. Something was moving underground. One of the astronauts kicked the ground, but nothing happened. The moon ninja was actually one of their shadows, and one of the men saw that the shadow was different. The same astronaut kicked his shadow, and the moon ninja flew off the ground and landed. Where? Nice. I see, I see. I don't know. On the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's, this was actually uh, this is how he earned his name it was this is the pretty Did Elon Musk read this and just get inspiration what, what is going on yeah for for being called know. moon ninja he doesn't have that much to do with the moon yeah. Yeah. it seems more like shadow ninja <laughs> earth ninja the normal ninja or just ninja, ninja. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's all over the place <laughs> yeah, I, can, I, I can see why your professor just gave you a hundred without reading it because yeah. <laughs> It just kind of does whatever it wants. Yeah, I would too. Also, the I, I'd like to. I'll, I'll show it to the camera. You guys can't see it, but I'm pretty sure I use 36 point font because I only get like <laughs> eight sentences per page, maybe if that. 
I think there's only four sentences on this entire page. <laughs> <clears throat> then the moon ninja made their shadows come to life and whatever they did to their shadows affected them. The moon ninja soon disappeared and so did the shadows. Years passed. No one saw the moon ninja <laughs> until one day someone said the moon ninja returned to the moon. Ah. <laughs> See, we, it all comes. Wait, that's it. No, we're still going. I'm just saying, yeah. it all comes so, full so, circle. So, someone, this this random man, had all the insider <laughs> info on Moon Moon Ninja. I bet he turns out to be Moon Ninja. Yeah, calling it. Mm. Now. Well, he uh, did disguise himself as a person, so that's totally possible. Not a person. Not he, dis a person. he disguised himself er, as person. Person, right? Yeah, person, the sorry. person. The person, yes. right? Is the person and someone the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's hard to tell. It's the same person. It's the same someone. Yeah. The astronauts got into the spaceship and went to the moon. They saw their shadows once more, except for one astronaut. So the moon ninja tried to make his shadow come to life, but the astronaut picked. What? Picked? Yeah, that's where that sentence ends. Oh. A piece of metal. <laughs> 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 when the moon ninja tried to make his shadow come to life, it bounced off the metal and made his shadow come to life. One of the astronauts destroyed the moon ninja's shadow, but the moon ninja was not destroyed, but the astronaut's shadow disappeared. The moon ninja jumped all the way to Saturn. The astronauts got into their ship and flew to Saturn. The astronauts started fighting the moon ninja, but none of their attacks got through. I the like how this... Astronaut Sorry, but this like ignores how it would take like a fucking thousand years to get from one planet yeah. to another for astronauts. You can it just, just jump. Oh, they Fuck flew it. there. Ju <laughs> he well, jumped. Yeah, no, not even. Moon Ninja jumped. <laughs> well, he, he yeah, had, he's always been known for his leap, his athletic leaping ability. We don't. I didn't set uh, a time period. This could be in the distant future where we have so, the technology to go yeah, faster. Plus, he's fighting fucking shadows and shit. He has yeah. athletic leaping abilities, and he's also an you know, you know an astrophysicist, and he knows exactly where he has to leap at what point, what time. <laughs> so, he, his trajectory is a little bit off. He's just flying through space. <laughs> he's just lost. <laughs> it's one thing to be the Hulk jumping from building to building. It's another to jump from planet to planet. Yeah, it probably does take a lot of calculation, I imagine. Mm. Something so that smart. I obviously considered when writing this. Yeah, yeah. so Moon Ninja is also a, a super Ninja. genius. Yeah. The yeah. biggest... I think that was... Yeah, that was implied. The biggest astronaut kicked the Moon Ninja right in the head and knocked him off balance. The astronauts tripped him and he fell down. There was a big explosion. The what? Moon Ninja Sorry, again, okay. Not to delay this, but who, who are these astronauts? Fucking Floyd Mayweather? How are they knocking out ninjas? <laughs> when did this happen? When did they go from fucking uh, they, Texan nerds to being badass martial artists? I feel like you may have... When the threat of Moon Ninja emerged. You may have missed it, but in the, the prequel here, I mentioned that they had all the access codes, so that should probably oh, help explain okay. that. They have access yeah, codes. Yeah, it, it makes like 40 it makes years sense. of vigorous training. It yeah. makes total sense. Okay, total sense. sure. It's, you all just right. have to pay attention. Elite Force. And he fell down. There was a big explosion. The moon ninja had been terminated. The astronauts <laughs> returned to Earth and had a party. Or has the moon ninja been destroyed? <laughs> he's just in prison again. <laughs> yeah, they throw him in jail again. He jumped away at the last second, and now he's in the Andromeda galaxy. He's like mm. the jo he's like the Joker, and the astronauts are Batman. Has he been destroyed? And there's not well, another. Are there more moon ninjas, Charlie? Because if there's no more moon ninjas, destroyed. I think we can say for sure that he's been destroyed. Well, I don't mm. know. It's it's a, it's open ended. You never know when eight year old Charlie from another multiverse might collapse onto this one and produce more moon ninja. Well, so uh, Jackson, do we still have that social media account for our podcast? Social well, Twitter wait, account. Like Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Couldn't we do one of them uh, poll? story things that uh, other social media accounts do where we pose a poll and then people vote for the whatever option they want and then we'll write the next sentence we could crowdfund oh, a, like, a sequel lives. is what i'm saying Crowd I source. like the original idea where everyone's yeah. like eight-year-old nephew finishes <laughs> Moon Ninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> have you guys have you guys seen axe cop at all yeah no. i know what that is yeah yeah, X Cop is a it's a cartoon and a comic book where it was written by a five year old and then his like Aww. thirty year old uh, 
cousin animated it and drew it to make it look really professional. So we could credit. we could like make Moon Ninja into one of those where we get a bunch of like the podcast listeners to get their like five year old cousins or brothers or whatever to just finish the story and do their own interpretations. Yeah, I don't. We, you don't even have to give them like the first two Moon Ninjas. You can just tell them Moon Ninja and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Just the, use the those mini two adventures words. of Moon Ninja. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, you know, I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he can go anywhere. I had to babysit my nephew today. He's six, but I should have just used the words Moon Ninja and watched what he does. And then written it down or just listened to him. <laughs> it's like a code. <laughs> <laughs> Winter Soldier. He's, he's like going to find, he's going to find the Zodiac killer. To Saturn. <laughs> he's like yeah. the Winter Soldier. Those two words like Moon Ninja. <laughs> he just rockets off. <laughs> he fucking activates he and turns into George R.R. R. Martin. And starts writing fucking phrases on paper. That would have been fun. <laughs> Eyes roll into the back of his head as like a spirit <laughs> takes over a pin. It's like the exorcist. The spirit of Moon Ninja. No, the spirit of good writing, man. Amen. Well, yeah, mm. Moon Ninja. Moon Ninja. You should tell him that saying Moon Ninja in a mirror three times summons <laughs> the Moon Ninja shadows or something. <laughs> we should start a myth like that. That'd be cool. Scare, ch scare children with a Moon Ninja mythos. Mm. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Somebody just sent this in our uh, patreon.com slash the official podcast discord is an Amazon book, presumably self-published, Moon Ninja, book 15 in the cities yeah. of Luna. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Charlie, like you're, shit, you're fucking slacking ass. This guy's on book 15. Yeah, but this isn't Ninja a real saga. Moon Ninja. This and is like some like pretentious shit. And it looks like shit. Yeah, it yeah, looks like looks shit. Bad. To be sure, it's just... Basically one dollar and ten cents. So would you guys wanna like the four of us get together and use our like the four of us and all of our fans get together, write a book series of wow. Moon Ninja and self publish I, on Amazon? On Hang on a minute. So Amazon lets you preview books before you buy them. And oh. this is kind of impressive how Charlie, as an eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, is a better author than whoever wrote Moon Ninja. <laughs> this is oh, terrible. Don't be mean. It's terrible, though. Dan, don't be mean. Dan tried to ignore the acrobatics his partner was performing, but when one flip landed him so close that Dan nearly tripped over him, he'd had enough. Cut it out, Leroy. You're not a fracking Moon Ninja. Dan was sick of his partner's weird sense of humor. The guy may be a genius, but he was also a pain in the tukus. Uh, <laughs> really so, oh. directly at I, I feel like this author stole my manuscripts when I was eight. <laughs> they <laughs> published my other book. Leroy pointed Focus. directly at him, the other hand pointing at his own nose through his suit's helmet, exactly the same way he did when they were playing Pictionary with their wives and his partner guessed right. I am a fracking moon ninja, Leroy ex laughed hysterically, and Dan was sorely tempted to turn off his calm. We're not doing any fracking today, Dan stated. We're testing. I yeah, oh, this boy. is bad. Please tell me there's rule 34 of moon ninja. What? No, why? <laughs> Yeah. Don't ruin my character. Yeah. If there's I want to see that uh, fracking moon. Ninja. If there's any Rule artists out there, fucking please. A story eight-year-olds wrote. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, but Moon Ninja, moon ninja transcends age boundaries. He's like a timeless character for everyone. Yeah, it's something. It's like Avatar: The Last Airbender. You know, made for kids, but adults can obviously enjoy the shit out of it yeah. too. Yeah. Um, what, the like the Boondocks. Yeah. Wait, I, I don't think the boondocks are made for children. Am I? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I No, I'm just joking that it's the it's the same animation. Okay. And it looks the same. Yeah. God damn, oh, Charlie, you're we... right. I, I really want to make Moon Ninja a series now, a book series. We yeah, should come up with a... Adorable. And a combined um, author name, you know, like a pen name. Like J.K. Oh, Rowling, George R. R. Martin. I don't even know if that's his real name, but something. So our name has to have like two letters in it. It could be J. A. Let's be A. B. Caesar. Yeah, but it has to have have J. A. C. and K in it to be cool, you know. Yeah, it could Jack just be something. Jack Martin. J yeah, Jack something. I just bought Moon Ninja, so. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you bought the Moon Ninja book on Amazon? <laughs> That's the first sale she's ever made. <laughs> it's, it's 99 cents, whatever. So I bought it. 
Um, it's also. Are you gonna give it to your nephew? Because that'd be cute. No, he doesn't okay, know English no, I'll, yet. I'll fax you over Moon Ninja. Let me see if it has chapters. Best way to learn is through Moon Ninja. Okay, it doesn't even have chapters. But how about so? Hmm, would you guys want to read a little bit every week? From of her book? From her yeah. Moon Ninja? Yeah, why, why, why her book? That's kind of fucked. <laughs> She's trying yeah. to sell it. <laughs> Yeah, and we're giving her exposure. Why don't we just open up a, a? I think. Uh, why don't we just open the Game of Thrones books and just read a little bit every week? So Andrew, no one has to I buy think it. I'm literally the, the, the only, only person, connection this book has to the comedy. I think I'm literally the only person who's ever bought this book. It has, by the way, it's literally like ten pages. It's not really a book as oh, much wow. as a brochure. Yeah. It's a chapter. She's releasing chapter by chapter. Kind of what uh, I did. Also. There's not. There's nothing that actually connects this book to what we've been talking about in Charlie's work, other than the name. Other than comparison. So we'll yeah. What if the book. book's just really boring and it sucks? Yeah. Well, it's just a book. Again, it's not a book. It's a brochure. <laughs> it's a pamphlet. <laughs> I bet her Moon Ninja doesn't even go to prison. What's the point? Dan, yeah, I take it point. all back. He doesn't even spend time in the slammer. Can you refund? Yeah. Shut up, Kaya. You fucking idiot. God. Can I refund? Having this? ideas. <laughs> Boy, what, what, what did no, you? She, she's gonna be so upset. She's just woken up at four o'clock in the morning with an alert from her like Amazon account saying she's made a sale, and then she immediately gets the refund notice. So, at the end of her That's book, this bitch. At the end of her book, she includes a teaser for the next book. And I again, did the same thing. Uh, reminder. Yeah. No, it's not a cliffhanger though. It's literally just a teaser, Charlie. It's not a. You know, oh. a sentence that is part of the story, literally just an advertising for the next book. And reminder, when I say book, I mean two page brochure. So this one says next in the cities of Luna, the riverboat. Tina is fed up with the city, escaping to life on a riverboat that crawls around on the moon's e equator. Following the sun, a fresh perspective and a little romance might show her there is a good side to the city after all. Well, let's no, so let's book. give her some credit. She made sure at the beginning of every chapter to specify that this is a work of fiction, so that no one will ever get confused if Moon Ninja's real or not. Hmm. Yeah. Well, in her universe, though, it's very different from my <laughs> cinematic universe for Moon Ninja. Hers uh, is about like a friend doing a goofy trick and calling him Moon Ninja. Mine was about an yeah. actual Moon Ninja. Uh, yeah, I think hers is more about like astronauts being dorks. Well, we can read it, but... they seem to have, like, a lot of... Here's, a, here's an excerpt. Dear God, I do not want to tell his wife. His last words were, oops. <laughs> Is that the end of the book? I mean, that's... No, it, that's, accurate. that's the middle of the book, actually. That's realistic. Uh. How many people do you think that is that actually the last words that they, they ever speak? It's got to be pretty frequent, right? Yeah. I'll bet. Yeah, probably. Go ahead. So it's pretty realistic. I'll give her credit. I swear I to God, Charlie, I, I, this... Andrew was right. Uh, th this really does read as if... I, I don't know, someone, somebody who's younger than eight wrote this. So yeah, you, it's you don't really have to feel too bad. Written. Yeah. It, this reads like if uh, Patrick from Spongebob wrote it. <laughs> Leroy Leroy <laughs> pulled him close again making sure their eyes met he took a few deep breaths then said I need a cape that's the end of the book whoa that's that's badass we don't know what her, we don't know what her target audience though is this could be for it kids it probably is for kids I imagine and written by kids I hope poor, poor lady just wanted to make a kid's book and just chose the yeah. wrong title <laughs> for kids by kids. <laughs> How about we just review children's books like they're meant for adults? That is a great idea. I <laughs> fucking love that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Everyone poops, you dumb bitch. Just shut Are you fucking them. kidding me? I haven't seen someone take a shit in years. <laughs> as far as I know, only I poop. <laughs> Not there for anyone else. <laughs> All right. Uh, I we think we can wrap, wrap up. up. Probably. Yeah. 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 Yep. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we've got a Patreon at patreon.com slash the official podcast where you can find bonus episodes. We've got plenty of bonus episodes up there to make your quarantine a little more official. Um, yeah, that's everything. So thank you for listening to this week's episode. We'll see you next time. 
Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.